Hey, this is Father Robert from Gadget at thetechstop.net, the place where it's always time to get your geek on. I'm here with Bob Kearns at Digital Experience, CES 2010, where he's got a very interesting uh, announcement from Energizer. Now, Bob, I, I hear that Energizer just released, announced a new product line. Yes, we did. We announced, we announced yesterday and we're releasing tonight at the show a uh, new first uh, open source inductively charged uh, battery pad for the marketplace. Now, inductive charging, explain what that is. Inductive really is it, you don't, it doesn't require wires, you put it on a pad and it charges through the pad. Uh, the device at pretty much the same rate as if you were plugging into a wall or things of that nature. So okay. Now, I, right behind us is a little sample of your inductive charging technology. Mm -hmm. Now, I, I noticed this. I, I, I won't call out the company, but I saw a iPhone charging pad technology at last CES, and it had a hump on right. the back of it that was about the same size as an iPod. Mm -hmm. This actually looks just like a case. Right. How did Very you do much. that? They're, they actually, the coil is inside. because One of the things that the benefits that it has, it does have some range of motion in there. It doesn't have to lock on the one spot. So you can kind of move it around so it yeah, really yeah. doesn't have to lock in. And that really, so there's no magnets that are required or things like that to kind of lock it into place. As long as the light goes on, then uh, you know that it's being charged at that time. So right. it does have a little bit of a range of motion to it or whatever. So. I notice it's not just the iPhone, you've got a couple of other devices here. Well, the other two that we have are from our gaming line that uh, we have out there in the marketplace right now. Now these are proprietary systems that work exclusively with this. It's a two position and a four position uh, for the Wii. And kind of the neat thing about these is, is the fact that this particular one, you don't have to take the, uh, you don't have to take the outer uh, shell off of it to be able to charge it. So you just lay it on the pad and it charges that way. So it's really kind of a cool thing to have, particularly for a, if you're a heavy gamer or things like that. Now the other big part here is, I, you mentioned that this is an open source That's inductive charging. Uh, what does that mean? There is there is in the process of being built an open source for wireless charging uh, through the Wireless Power Consortium. The standard they want to use is called Qi, and it's, it's still being developed right now and hopefully will be uh, announced in the next few months. What that really is trying to create is an open source so that anybody who produces or develops a Qi product out there, like a cell phone or that, can be charged in any Qi compliant uh, charging pad. So it's much more of an open system. You just don't need one charger and one device. You can charge it relatively openly in any one that is Qi compliant. Right, exactly. I think that's that's been the big question because with more companies doing inductive charging, there was the question of, well, am I going to need this company for my iPhone and right. this company for my Xbox and so on and so forth. If it's open source, it means they can all use the standard and an Energizer iPhone case right. will work with someone else's pad. Yeah, or someday a whatever type of a manufacturer puts a phone out there that is inductively enabled with the Qi, they can charge it on any pad that's out there in the marketplace. I, I think the other, the other geeky question would be, do you think this open source push would speed up the uh, the move to say build these things into desk furniture, into office furniture, into uh, you know appliances, the car dashboard, and that's been the big question about when mm -hmm. we'll actually start to see this stuff in the wild. It, it, it's really like I said, in its infancy. I think you'll see development once the standards announced and and manufacturers start building around it. But there, I, I would that's not as far in the future as you may think it would be. So, so the big question. Because I know there's going to be a lot of people who are going to want this when they see this. Mm -hmm. How much is it? When will it be available? Okay. This product will be available probably in mid-July in the U.S. market. And it'll be a charging pad, which will be a two position for $99. Oh. And then initially we'll go out with two sleeves or battery compartments, one for an iPhone and then one for a BlackBerry. Right. So those will be on the market around the same time they'll retail for $39. Uh, in the U.S. market, and then hopefully by CES next year, you'll start to see manufacturers announcing them with pro products with uh, Qi compliant built in. Uh, that's amazing, man. Thirty-nine dollars is pretty much what you pay for a good case. Right. Yes, you get a, an inductive charger with it. Well, fantastic. Thank you. I, I I didn't know Energizer was doing this. It's it's really cool to hear that you've gotten into it. I mean, you are one of the big ones. So if you if you've gotten behind it, it's going to become big. Yeah, we're looking forward. We're excited about this product and. Uh, and getting out in the marketplace and let consumers use it. So, Bob, thank you very much. Thank Good show. You. Thanks. And remember to keep stay tuned for more CES coverage. And there's no no Uber geek without you.